the Sarajevo Film Festival is one of the most prominent in Europe. This year's 23rd event was the biggest ever, so it's no surprise its closing awards ceremony was highly anticipated. Our Elif Bereketli was there to check out the winners. One of the main venues of the festival is the city's national theatre, this building you see behind me. The awards ceremony will take place there very soon and I can see everyone's already excited to find out about the winners. It wasn't only the Heart of Sarajevo awards that were given to winners, but the city, with its hospitality and spirit, gave its heart to all the guests. It was truly a heartwarming experience for all those who participated. Yeah, I had the chance of staying here the whole week and I watched a lot of the films that were in competition. Coming from France and America, it really is reassuring to see that in the East, there's, there's still an innocence and a desire for cinema because in the West, we're losing it. I realized that opening my movie here was a good decision. It was really beautiful to be here with young people and the Bosnian audience. 235 films from 54 countries were screened during the festival. Young employees and festival volunteers helped create a memorable experience for thousands of guests, media representatives and visitors. Once the award ceremony was underway, the international jury was finally able to share the big news with the public. Romanian film Meda, or The Not-So-Bright Side of Things, won Best Director and Best Actor awards. The fact that we are here in the official selection, that we were in the official selection, was an award itself because it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. But the fact that we won two prizes, it's, uh, it's really, really, really amazing. The movie, this one, uh, took Best Actor and Best Director, so uh, I thank all my team for, for, having, for uh, supporting me for all that long. It was a, a three-year movie. Uh, the development and everything like that, and uh, I feel wonderful right now. The Heart of Sarajevo for the Best Actress category was awarded to Ornella Capitani for her role in the movie Daybreak. Uh, it feels great, emotional, and I'm very, very moved. It was such a hard process and such a difficult process that uh, being here was an award in itself, but actually winning the award it's so, so great. <laughs> Best Feature Film Award was given to Georgian director Anna Urushadze's movie, Scary Mother. It's amazing. Like how, how, uh, I like how uh, the festival cares for uh, people. Like uh, uh, um, these connections and uh, um, uh, like um, it's very people oriented. The curtain may have come down on the Sarajevo Film Festival for this year, but the hearts it touched will patiently wait for next year's event. Elif Bereketli, TRT World, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, joining me now is our very own Elif Bereketli. Elif, thank you for coming on our show today. Um, so tell me how this, the festival was overall. It was really good, very lively, very energetic. It was my first time ever in Sarajevo Film Festival and I spent the whole week there. So I didn't know what to expect really, uh, but I was astonished by how the whole city owned the festival and how they cherished it. From the grandmothers to five-year-olds, I'm not exaggerating even a bit, from the coffee shop owners to hotels, everyone was really, really glad that the festival was taking place. And there was this festive aura in the city which really surprised me, to be honest with you. But when you look at the story of the festival, it's not really hard to understand why. Because 23 years ago, when the festival were, was first established, it was during the war in Bosnia. And I saw some ex exclusive footage from the first festival. And it was unbelievable. It's very touching. People are just trying to gather uh, in secret locations in a city that is being constantly bombed and that is in ruins, just to see a movie together. And then the reason why, back then, why it was uh, being established because, was because that people were trying to reconstruct a civil society and regain the cosmopolitan spirit of the city. And now, 23 years later, you can understand that it was successful and it happened. And of course, there is the film screenings as well, which is 
always very like greatly curated. That's why Sarajevo Film Festival is one of the best in the world. So tell us which uh, production took the big prize home. Uh, it was an Estonian Georgian production mm -hmm. called Scary Mother by a 26 year old director, oh. which is amazing, a female director, Anna Rushadze. Uh, it had really good critical acclaim. The people that I spoke to during the festival, they were really like ple pleasantly surprised by her performance as mm -hmm. a director. And um, the movie is about this 50 year old housewife who is struggling between her passion to write a novel and her duties to her family. And years and years, she suppresses her passion to write. Mm -hmm. And then after, after a while, she just plunges into writing. And, and she's suffering from mental and health issues. The whole story is like that. It's a great storyline, great plot. And I was actually expecting it to get some prizes. And I was really, really happy for her. And it's got the criti critical acclaim and also the prize, which is perfect. So there's a lot of sections in the Sarajevo Film Festival. Tell us more about the different types of sections and what various productions there are. So um, it's an international film festival. So there were screenings, film screenings, uh, eight days, for, for like eight days, I think, if I'm not mistaken, from 54 countries. It's like a lot of countries, but we shouldn't forget the focus in this festival is on Southeast Europe. Mm -hmm. And apart from the screenings, there are there is this uh, segment about industry. In the, the professionals from the industry are gathering to exchange ideas and projects. And there is an educational and networking platform for young filmmakers and talks and meetup sessions. So we can say that Sarajevo Film Festival in general is like a common platform for professionals from the region and also for keen moviegoers for the whole screenings that have taken place. So it's a good place for networking as well for people who want to do more productions. Definitely, absolutely. So there was this one film um, called Grain that was premiered at the festival. Um, tell us more about it because it was a very compelling movie and it caught a lot of people's attention. Yeah, it was by Turkish filmmaker Semih Kaplanoğlu, who is probably one of the most celebrated Turkish filmmakers in history. Um, everyone was very hopeful about the movie, um, but then it didn't get any other prizes. It's like, it was a shock for a lot of people, I can say. It's a sci-fi movie, uh, but it has this interesting turn in the end. That, like, that has got a lot of connotations from Sufism, Islamic doctrines and, and Anatolian culture. Um, it's black and white, so it's really interesting visually as well. And it's the most ambitious project of Semih Kaplanoğlu so far. It's probably got the most expensive budget in Turkish art house movie industry. Mm. So it was like a shock for everyone because Semih Kaplanoğlu got Berlinale before for his Yusuf trilogy and he got other awards as well. So, yeah, but we'll see. I think, I think it's got a long journey in front of it, not in Sarajevo Film Festival, but, but in other occasions, I exactly. believe. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you for a great review, Elif. Thanks.